So I'm including this just to kind of show you my creative process. I know what I want, a girl with an umbrella, with the umbrella getting caught in the wind. And the umbrella will be the whirly gig pot. So I made some sketches. Uh, they weren't much more than doodles, really. And this is the one that I liked. So I've drawn a grid around it in half-inch squares. And I'm going to transfer it to a regular sheet of copy paper. And I've put one-inch squares on this. And I've numbered and lettered them to make it a little easier. And I'm going to transfer the picture onto that so I'll have something to use to cut out the wooden girl. So I deliberately kept her hand very close to the edge of the piece of wood and I tried to keep it as square as possible because before I cut her out on the scroll saw I'm going to drill the 3 8 hole that is needed for the 3 8 dowel that will become the handle of the umbrella. As you can see, that didn't catch my pilot hole as cleanly as I would have wanted to. And it's actually a, about a sixteenth of an inch lower than I wanted it. So I've adjusted the drawing accordingly. I'll just make her hand a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to give the figure a bit of hand sanding before we move on. So I'm going to cut out this strip on the band saw. It would probably be better if I used my table saw, but for this one cut I don't feel like setting it up, and this will be fine. But before I do that, I'm going to mark it so that I can cut in a mortise for this tenon.
what did I do? I cut the piece to size on the bandsaw. I rounded off some of the edges to make it a little more sleek. And I cut a groove in the back end of it big enough to accept a piece of eighth inch lawn. I'm going to make a, a flag to put in there, a wind catcher, so that it'll turn it in the wind. So what have I done here? I have cut a 3 8 inch dowel about three and a half inches long and I've drilled a 5 30 second hole down the middle of it about an inch deep and this is going to become the handle of the umbrella and the hole will accept a pin that will have the pinwheel part of the whirly gig on it. Alright, so I used a one and a half inch hole saw and I cut this out of half inch pine stock. And this is going to be the hub of the pinwheel part of the whirly gig. So now I'm going to draw some lines. I'm going to first draw a cross in this and bisect it. Transfer these lines to the edge. And then just by eye, about halfway between these lines on the opposite side, I'll put a line. And then I'll connect these lines on the diagonal. Now I'll need to sort a slot where these lines are. So off camera, I took another pass at these slots with the saw to make them a little bit wider. I also measured up and cut out a prototype of the paddle out of eighth inch Luan that will fit in the slots. And I think that's going to work out fine. Um, so I need to cut out three more of these and then we can start gluing things together. Okay, so while I was sanding, I feathered the bottom edge of these so they would fit in the slots that I cut a little better. And now that we have all the pieces, we can start gluing it up. Now ideally you'd want to use a urethane based glue or an exterior glue on this, but I'm just going to use what I have. Thank you. 
Here she is, all painted. Now I need to attach the propeller to the end of this stick. I made the hole in the end of the stick just big enough to snugly accept this nail. So now, I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to have a small washer and the propeller. Push it in all the way. Then I'll mark the distance with a marker. I'll take it apart. I'll measure that distance, which is one and a half inches. I'll measure that from this end, mark it, and cut off what I don't need. Before I epoxy the pin in that holds the pinwheel, I want to find the balance point on this so I can drill a hole in it and use it to secure it to the base that I'm going to have so it'll sw swing around in the wind. And I'm going to do that just by putting a pencil under the base, just moving this back and forth until it balances or it's in between tipping points. And once I find that spot, I'll mark it and that, at that center point is where I'll drill my hole through the base. I'm ready to drill a hole. So this is just a stick with a finished nail driven in the top of it. And I've put a small washer there. And I'm going to Put that in the hole and turn on some artificial wind. And there it is in action. Now, I had originally started this project because I wanted the Whirly Gig to put behind my mailbox. However, I started this project about a month ago, and then life happened, and I didn't get back to it until now, and winter is already upon us. So that's why I'm using the artificial wind. I'm not going to put it out till spring. But if you want a Whirly Gig, the winter is a good time to build one because it will be ready when you want it in the spring. I will be posting some plans and drawings for this project on my Patreon page. If you like my videos, then please like and subscribe, and as always, I thank you for watching.